Ah, banana rings. A joke weapon that turned out to actually be a good weapon. For such a weird weapon, it performed surprisingly well. But how good would they be in the real world? I want to know how powerful the terrarian lobbing 10 bananas would actually be in real life, and how much damage that can do, much like I did for the coin gun in a previous video. Like the previous example, I'll be calculating the energy or force that each banana has, then comparing that to a few things in real life. Alright, let's get started. First, we need the mass of a banana. Now, unlike the platinum coin where I did a bunch of pixel measurements and math, getting the weight of an average banana is as easy as typing average weight of banana into your search engine. It seems like this article here states an average unpeeled 7-inch banana weighs approximately 6.5 ounces, or 184 grams. So, are we done yet? No. Unfortunately, if you look closelier, you may notice that the bananas in Terraria are statistical outliers. The projectile for a banana ring is 17 pixels long, so that means it's about 4 and a quarter feet long in game, since each graphical pixel is a fourth of a foot. That's pretty big, longer than any banana I've seen here in real life. So clearly using a regular banana for our mass value would be doing the terrarian a massive injustice. This presents a problem. You see, when I measure things in terraria, they're usually well-defined in pixels, not 2D, and made of a contiguous, simple shape. And most importantly, uniform in density. A banana is the absolute opposite of all of these things. So, instead of calculating a weight for the banana, we'll just scale up a real-life banana. If a real-life 7-inch banana is 184 grams, we can then emulate a 51-inch banana by simply multiplying the weight by 51 over 7 cubed. This effectively represents a scale of a 51 over 7 in each dimension, kinda like this. If we do this, we can approximate a 51-inch banana to be about 71.15 kilograms in weight. We also need to find out how fast this terrarium can throw these bananas. Luckily, we have the internal velocity value of the banana rings, which is 16. As I have previously mentioned in previous episodes, we can easily extract the real-world speed from this velocity number by just multiplying by 7.5 to get feet per second. This is because velocity is just pixels per tick, and given that there are 60 ticks in a second, 16 internal pixels in a block, and 2 feet in a block, we can easily simplify the speed value in feet per second to be velocity times 7.5. So, 16 times 7.5 is 120 feet per second and we can also confirm this through a timed test just to make sure. 120 feet per second is 36.5 meters per second, or 81.8 miles an hour, or 131 kilometers an hour, just faster than highway speed. Given that the terrarian is just throwing these leisurely, that's quite impressive. However, we also have to clear up one thing with physics that these bananas appear to violate. All boomerangs in terraria return at the same speed as they were thrown, which simply doesn't make sense under normal physics. After all, the boomerang is striking something, meaning it has to have lost energy. And even so, if it would return on its own, it would still return with less energy, i.e. less speed. In this case, we'll just have to assume that all the energy imparted on the boomerang is used up on the first throw, and the return throw is just some magic black hole voodoo terraria stuff, because otherwise it would violate every law of physics we have ever created. Like, look at this, come on. This makes the math slightly easier for us, since we can assume the full force of the throw is bearing on the enemy hit, and the energy making the boomerang return is of no concern. Now we can finally go over the energy. Let's say that I threw a banana ring at this unfortunate little zombie here, and it hits the zombie at top speed. It near instantly decelerates to zero speed as it hits the zombie. An object such as this banana going from 36.5 meters per second to zero in one tick would equate to an acceleration of negative 2,190 meters per second squared. That is a whopping 223 Gs. With a mass of 71.15 kilograms, this means this banana is receiving a force of 155,000 newtons as it decelerates, and due to Newton's third law, this zombie is also receiving it too. Even if it is just for 1 60th of a second, that's a lot. For context, the force to break a human femur is about 4,000 newtons, or around 3,300 newtons for a chance to break a human rib. A car crash involving a 50 kilogram seat belted individual at 100 kilometers an hour is just shy of 100,000 newtons. At 155,000 newtons, this banana is almost certainly absolutely deadly, especially with that acceleration. At 47.4 thousand joules of total energy as well, this banana is no underdog in that camp either. A fastball pitched at 100 miles per hour would clock in at just 140 joules, mostly due to its absolutely diminutive weight in regards to the banana. However, it is nowhere near as deadly as our little coin gun, which inflicts 4.5 million newtons of force, and 2.3 million joules of energy on an area much smaller than the banana rings. The coin gun absolutely still reigns supreme.
Hello, if you wish to see more content, I ask you to subscribe, as only 7% of you are. Here in this video, I show how the coin gun is literally an artillery autocannon on steroids. Besides that, thank you for watching, and good day, and goodbye.